Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Stephanie from AWS. And today we're going to be talking about cylinder safety. Remember, when welding, make sure you're in a safe environment utilizing the correct PPE. Once your cylinder is safely on the cart, make sure you secure it with a chain. Once we have our cylinder secure with our chain, we're going to take off our valve cap. Now that we got our cylinder safety cap off, we're going to take a lint-free rag and we're actually going to clean the inside of the valve out. Make sure it's free of any debris. Now once we've had wiped that out, we're going to crack this cylinder just real quick. And now we're ready to put on a regulator. On the regulator, you're going to have this, uh, this nut here and make sure this is slid forward and you're going to insert it into the valve and slowly hand tightening it. Make sure you're not cross threading it. If it feels real tight with a lot of resistance, you're going to want to stop, back it back out and re-thread it in so it goes in smoothly. One thing you want to make sure of is that your gauges are facing up. You don't want them facing too much towards the sky and too far down towards the ground because then you're not going to be able to read them um, as you're working. So now that we got that hand tightened in there, we're going to want to take our either adjustable wrench or our cylinder wrench or crescent wrench, whatever you got on hand, and you're just going to continue tightening that. And you kind of want to put one hand on the actual regulator here to keep that from spinning because it's still loose so it has a tendency to spin. Now that we have our regulator tightened, before we check for leaks, we want to make sure we back out this adjusting nut and we want to step out of the way of the regulator just as a precaution and now you're ready to open the bottle. An important note, welding cylinder gases are double seated valves, so before operating this machine, you want to make sure your bottle is open all the way. All compressed gas cylinders must be secured when stored. This is an acetylene cylinder. When we store it, it must be at least 20 feet away from any combustibles, or it must have a five foot firewall between it and an oxygen cylinder. When in use, it goes in a cart. Once the cylinder is in the cart, secure it with a chain or a strap, whichever your cart has. Tap on that, loosen it up, and then once you get her loose, release it and it'll unscrew, exposing the valve. Set this aside. So here's the valve. This is a high pressure cylinder. Um, this is a double seated valve here. So that means it should be closed all the way and opened all the way when in use. Uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wipe out the inside, the seat here clean that out, maybe just hit the threads right quick, and then we're gonna crack it. It's important when we crack this that we get on the other side and we're always away from where that gas is gonna exit the valve. Once you crack the cylinder, the next step is to attach the regulator. So this is a right-hand thread on here. When we put the cylinder or the regulator onto the cylinder, you always wanna make sure that you position the regulator in an upright position so that you can view the gauges. They don't want to be indexed. Um, always want to make sure that they're in the appropriate position. Line it up. We're going to get it started by hand. There's only brass here, so we don't have to go superhero tight on it. I usually kind of get it started and snug it up by hand. Then we're going to grab a crescent wrench. If you got a, a wrench that's made for cylinders, you can Use that, I don't know, cylinder wrench. They got all the little slots on it. You just snug it down. Like I said, I'm not reefing on this. I'm just maybe quarter, three eighths of a turn, if that. And then you're ready to open the gas cylinder. Um, usually we don't want to do that until we get the other regulator set up. So once you get that off, again, you're going to want to wipe that out the best you can. Stay away from the cylinder, crack it. Inspect this guy, maybe wipe it off and want to take him. And this is a left-hand thread, so it's gonna go in the opposite direction. 
and that's indicated, see these hash, these little index, and these little hash marks here on the, the crown of the, the fitting? Well, that's gonna tell you that. All right, and again, it's only brass. You wanna make sure your, your regulator is upright so that it's in the right position. You wanna tighten this down. Once the regulators are on the cylinders, we're gonna check for leaks. To do that, we're gonna use this leak detection compound. Pressurize the regulator and apply the leak detection compound. If any bubbles appear around the fitting in the valve, retighten it and check again. Remember, with acetylene cylinders, we wanna make sure we only open the valve no more than one turn, just in case we have to shut this off in an emergency.